Hey everybody, get here. We are back with Diablo 4. Let's go and get into the game and start our adventuring life anew. Yeah, my buddies who are currently playing it have been mentioning that the scaling experience is not very friendly. <laughs> and one of my buddies, he uh, got to just playing through Act 1. He got to uh, level 30 something. And at that level, he became <laughs> unable to beat the area the dungeon bosses for this zone <laughs> that's definitely something you got to consider when you're doing the side content oh look at that <laughs> that was something <laughs> Hmm. I'm not sure what those were. I don't think I saw that seen that enemy type and okay, here's the or was it just was it just the yeah, I guess it was just the uh like the bandit enemies. Not sure why it looked like something else. Oh, it is there. How come we didn't see it last time we were there? Oh, it's probably... It probably doesn't exist in the world until you've actually been to Kiova Shop. That's probably it. It's not a good reason, but that's probably the reason. The same as this uh, seller here. Didn't exist before, and now it does. Oh. Thank you for that. Don't want to drop me anymore, huh? All right. Okay, let's see how we do. I'm currently uploading my final two build guides. Well, build plans, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't call them guides. <laughs> what I create once I've actually played through with these builds is when Adobe Guides. Yeah, so, I gotta say, like, that is something specifically that I don't like that just happened right there. And it definitely speaks to, like, the, like the very... Like, the very lacking state of Blizzard's uh, focus as far as their games go. Like, you know, because Blizzard used to be, like, you know, like, when it came to, like, the company you would trust to put in all the work in their games, you know, like, you know, they were doing it for the love of it. Blizzard was always, like, the top of the list. But nowadays, like, you know, they are very much a bottom tier studio. I mean, they, like, you know, they do high quality stuff, but they don't put in the love. And one of the many things that, like, you know, is lacking love here are those voice lines. Because the fact that... Like, the druid, when they're out of spirit... The fact that they say that they're out of spirit 
in their druid voice. I need more spirit. I mean that like that that is immersion breaking right there. I mean I'm literally playing as <laughs> Or the fact that you know they don't have a bear voice or like any of the other form voices. There it is. Let's grab our statue here. Okay, now we get two intelligence for all our characters. Let's see. Once we've leveled, might as well invest that real quick. Let's go. Actually, did we get this one yet? We did it. Okay. to town. Another event right here. Yep, I'm gone. Yep. That sucked. <laughs> I got frozen and there was nothing I could do about it. Wow. Getting frozen is brutal.
One down. Got some booties and a hat. Good to go. And let's heal up a little. All right. We can finally do this one. Actually worth it to do now. We got separated. My, my legs were cut down. I won't last on my own. I wonder if that happened because I followed that enemy out of the room or if that or if it was something else that happened there. If it was because I followed the enemy out of the room, then that is bullshit. You're an absolute bullshit. All right, let's see what we got. So 31 boots, 53 boots, 46 boots, and 49 boots. 53 is the highest. Currently wearing, doesn't have anything on it. 
These have strength on them. There's lightning resistance on them. There's a shadow resistance on it. I will put those on. Hands I have give intelligence. These just give some armor. Hands I have give dodge chance. These give nothing but some armor. That I have does more armor and we get some strength. Which, yeah, just more armor for us, actually. <laughs> oh, 12 stats. That is top of the line right there. Yeah, they're both two-handers. So let's try something. Right now we're at 71 attack power. We'll take that off. I equip this one. We're at 105. I equip this one. We're at 117. I equip this one. 99. Okay. So even though this gives us the additional... Dexterity, strength, and uh, and intelligence, which are all stats we want to be raising, because this gives us more resource generation, this gives us more crit chance, and this gives us more armor. Even the 12 willpower from that wasn't enough to outweigh... What's the attack speed on this? 0.9. Attack speed on... 0 0.9. 0 0.9. So same attack speed on all of them. Five percent damage to close enemies. Seven percent damage to healthy enemies. So it has two... Damage two things. Damage two and core skill. Yeah, so I think it's because this has the buckets in it. The buckets are what do it for that. But I think the utility of having more resource generation, armor, and crit chance is actually enough to make it that I'm going to hold on to this one instead of putting the stronger weapon on. Oh, we got another level. But now we can get our heal. But now when we do our put in the roar, we will heal over time. And with our levels from this point forward, we will be... I won't be investing in bigger pulverized just yet. Go into Heart of the Wild. Yeah, Heart of the Wild and Abundance will probably go for. We're very close to town. Let's go get our side quest.
All right. Now that we've made it here, we can grab the little side quest that they have for this area. But more importantly, we can grab our waypoint. Hello, waypoint. Now we don't have to do that again. We'll break that down. Break that down. This and that. All right. There they are. Looking for something. An axe. Specifically the axe of the woodsman. A man who stopped and butchered travelers in this area. Rumor has it the woodsman disappeared recently and left his weapon behind. The priest who hired me didn't offer much more to go on. At this rate, I'll freeze before I find the damn thing. If you help me find the axe, I'll cut you in on the pay. Check the woods around town. I'm staying here where it's safe. Why do you want the woodsman's axe? I don't. Perry does. He's a priest of sorts, but what he wants with it, I don't know. I've done work for him in the past. Always odd items or objects with a history. He pays well for them. Here we go. Switch to that. Yeah, so this actually starts a chain... Uh, quest chain. I won't spoil what the chain is, but... I'm out of spirit. Well, I might. <laughs> Really depends on how far you watch. So many skeletons right here. So when you see these things here, go away, Skyson. The, the faded plaque will always tell you what you need to do. Really. Like the plaque will tell you what you need. So most of the description has been lost in time. You barely legible words read, greet death, open arms. So you would stand in front of this, open up your emote panel and look for something that looks like it might fit that description.
No, hello? There it is. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so it makes us invisible. <laughs> Yeah, so there's little shrines like that around everywhere. So just to you know, figure out what the thing is it's looking for. And and you get a quick little bonus. Not a quick little bonus. Shrines give you a quick bonus. <laughs> that just gives you a bonus. Alright, so let's go and... She didn't receive Zenkou's introduction, but we'll toss it. Alright. Well, I mean, let's just toss everything, really. Gets us some materials that may come in handy later. I have the woodman's axe. It must have been a grim place, judging by how much blood is on this axe. I confess, I'm eager to leave this place. I can't shake the feeling that I'm being watched. Now to get this thing back to Ministad and collect my due. Thank you for your help. Alright. Got some obols. Where are we at? 45. Yeah, so we got plenty of events we can do before we pull up. So let's go and take care of our some of our outstanding world quests, I guess. You. I want to upgrade my equipment. Let's have a look at you. Hmm. hmm. Buckles need reinforcing. This leather's cracked. What have you been getting yourself into, huh? Look, you live or die by the quality of your equipment. If you've the coin and materials, I can improve it for you. So we'll upgrade this since it has the stats on it. Well, if if the thing it upgrades is the stats. Okay, it does give us one to that. So, hmm. Nah, that probably would be a waste of money. Let's see. Strength. Best all stats. I think the gloves are probably the best bet. Yeah. Huh. Now we'll go and upgrade our flasks. Well, our healing potion. I want to increase the potency of my healing potion. Well, you certainly have the look of someone who spends a lot of time in the wilds. I expect you'll also want some of my elixirs, but let's focus on your healing potion for now. I have some extra materials we can use this time. If you want to improve your healing potion further or craft any elixirs, you'll need to source your own ingredients. 
I'll not Yo. leave these walls. Never again. Healing Potion Upgrades The potency of your healing potion can be upgraded at the Alchemist. Upgrading will require gold and herbs collected from around the world. Healing Potion Capacity can be increased by Earning Renown in each region of Sanctuary. Region Renown can be viewed on the map. Right now we have Weak, so we want to upgrade to Tiny. Thank you for my Tiny Healing Potion. The next time we'll need some Gallo Wine and buy Berry, which we already have plenty of. Well, not plenty of. We have enough that we can get that upgrade when we hit level 20. <laughs> then Elixir's Weak Third Eye, which requires some Howler Moss. And we increase our dodge and experience gain. And weak iron barb, which requires Gallowine and bite berry, which we have. Increase our armor, give us thorns, and give us an experience boost. But we're not going to do that. Find resources from other resources. Bite berries can become Gallowine. Yellow vine can become vitamine or bite berry or blood shade. Yellow vine is very useful. <laughs> Life's bane, holler's moss. Yeah. Oh, we can even refine silver ore into weird. Okay. I'm sure that'll come in handy later, but not right now. Alright, so let's head out into the world for this one. Whenever you you see any mining nodes, make always make sure to you know, to go and interact with them because th that's where you'll get your gems from. Able to do it in time. Within time limit. Oh well. We've leveled again, so let's go and start investing this way.
Yeah, so the guy we're looking for is over here. Bear on bear violence. What has the world come to? Here's the guy we're looking for. Are you Bozan the monk? Indeed I am. My guard turned on me, tried to choke the life out of me. All I could do before I lost consciousness was go over the cliff. I need to return to Kuyovashad and request a night escort. Please, take the tithing demands to the merchant lord, Talgum, in Menestad. That I will. All right, uh, real quick, I've been needing to tab out real quick. Uh, my one of my videos, has, actually, both of my videos have finished uploading, so I just need to. Okay, everything's set for this one. This guy here. Let me get that thumbnail real quick. Go. Four. Empire Road. Build plan. The game add the build link to description build link. There we go. Okay, all set. Go tag our waypoint here. Thank you. I carry the best shards of the heavens. We got two hats here. Oh, that one's got willpower on it. Yep, that will be our hat. Thank you. I am so very grateful. I will need to make the necessary arrangements. Please, excuse me. How did this happen? I shouldn't be holding this in my hands. It should be. Mm -hmm. Restraint, my lord. Ah, yes. Of course. Carry on, Misty. What do you need? Uh, an arrangement I made went awry and I was extorted by the ruffian Laskus for protection. 
He's camped somewhere near the pass to the northwest. Return the gemstones he stole, and I'll make it worth your while. So here's going to be... Once I go a little further here, the uh, the chain that I mentioned before is going to start. So if you are adverse to spoilers... In the darkness of the forest before I reach down, glowing eyes. I've never been so terrified. You have been warned. What happened? Do not underestimate her. <clears throat> Calm down, old man. What ails you? A mad woman with an axe. She massacred my knights like they were children. Her face was pained, as if she could not stop herself. The axe. It seemed to feed on the blood. Someone must separate her from that accursed axe. The town militia won't stand a chance. What are these knights to you? They served as both protectors and... and as observers I trusted with my work. Into the red cellar we go. You, anyone but you, stay back. This one died for mercy. Now she feasts on human flesh. Thread is no more. Magdalena, light be damned. How did this come to pass? I need your help, and we haven't much time. We'll need to purge the demon from the blade before it can be destroyed. Meet me in the crags of ill wind. My study there is on hallowed ground. There is no safer place to perform the incantation. What caused Magdalena to do this? The woodsman's axe. I thought it dangerous, sure, but possessed by a fiend, oh, never would I have guessed. There is little knowledge concerning such a blasphemous artifact. I'll need to visit my study to gather my thoughts. Who are you? I am Karen, master of the forbidden. Sanctioned scribe for the church. My charge is to study the great enemy in all manifestations. I knew Magdalena. I helped her in Novensk. Magdalena has been in my employ for years. It pains me greatly to know what has happened. If such an artifact was found in Novensk, I will see that town burned to the ground. 
and the earth salted. Who knows what other foul things slithered out of that town. Foul things indeed. Let the cold bite you too hard. Bad enough I have to stand watch. Now I'm supposed to police the pickpockets? A merchant's neglected old crates. Many haven't been used in a very long time. Let me tell you, traveler. Next time some cut purse picks my pocket, they'll be losing a hand. I saw eyes in the darkness of the forest before I reached town. Glowing eyes. I've never been so terrified. Twenty six thousand for an item power one thirty five. Blood stand. Rare boots that give dodge, spare cost reduction, plus six tall stats. Not bad. Attacks reduce evade cooldown by six seconds or point six seconds. The night has teeth beyond these wards. Better we bed down here so that we see the dawn. What do you want sucking the night out of you? The vampires in the forest or the merchants right here in town? You got some bonus experience and skill point for increasing our renown. Gonna put that point into abundance. Yeah, now with our next point, we'll go and start investing in clarity here. And once that's capped, then we're going to bring Storm Strike into our build. Let's see, carry this one first. Don't have to go as far for this one. And we got a vent right here. Convenient. Got all the souls we needed. Let's fight.
over here. I've come for the gemstones belonging to Meros. Meros sent you, that spineless merchant. Ha! This will cost him dearly. I must wait a moment. Got that. So just go and fast travel straight there. I have returned with your payment. So the deed is done. Excellent. I knew you would prove worthy of my trust. I'm sure you've heard the new word as it spreads. We will no longer suffer at the hands of the lesser. Our strength, our might, our destiny is to triumph over the weak. Your thing, man. They're right next to me. May the father's light heal you. Alright, so now we are heading to this one. My husband was a hard man to love. Now even the frozen ground won't take his body.
see. Yeah, so we're down to here, so let's start investing in clarity. Move quickly before we draw unwanted attention. In we go. Here in my study, I have been permitted to research the occult. If we displace the demon bound to the axe, Perhaps we can then see it destroyed. Take the woodsman's axe from the table. One second. Pull up my OBS. Put it away when I worked on those videos. Place the axe in the holy water. There's no telling what the demon will do once we begin. Heavenly Father in Arius. Let us drive out the demon in our midst. Grant us your favor so that we may send the fiend back to the pits of hell. Please, Father of Fathers, grace us with your holy light.
Come on. One more. Come on. Ah, no. He healed. <laughs> ah. You know, when I came in here low on potions, that this was not going to go well. is no more. I know not what has become of the souls of its victims. We can but pray they have found the light. Maybe. Dexterity hat with some extra life. Best for wearing as our all stats, but don't agree. Poison damage, control impaired duration. Lightning resistance. A lot more armor. I mean, it doesn't give us anything that's actually good, but it is a lot more armor. Alright, so with that, 